What if I get home and somebody is stealing or trespassing, Frank says. Well, Frank, we are never allowed to use or threaten the use of deadly force to protect personal property, ever. Uh, the only time you are allowed to use deadly force to protect personal property is if the person is also attempting to commit a forcible felony while attempting to take that personal property. And forcible felonies are uh, treason, murder, manslaughter, sexual battery, and, and the whole list goes on and on. So, and then the same thing goes for trespassing. Just because somebody is standing on your front lawn, just because somebody is on your property, you are not allowed to wave or threaten them with a gun. Here's an interesting story. There is an extremely wealthy family here in Tampa. If you know who the wealthy big name family is that used to own all of Tampa Bay back in the day when it was just cattle farms. This is the family that I'm talking about. So when we owned the gun store, I got a phone call. And uh, when I answered, I said, hey, you know, Ryan here, how can I help you? And this woman said, hey, I am a probation officer for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department. And I've called every gun store in Hillsborough County, and they've all said no. And I said, okay, well, my answer is probably going to be no then, but what's the question? And she said, I have a convicted felon that needs to take a gun safety class. I thought, what? that makes zero sense to me. So if he's a convicted felon, so I said, why is this person a convicted felon and need to take a class? She said, he just did. Uh, you can charge, you know, it, it has to be one-on-one. -on -one. And I said, that's fine, but I'm going to charge whatever I want. So normally we charge 60 bucks for our concealed carry class, right? $59.99. I charged this person $500. It was going to be one-on-one -on -one for three hours. I'm not doing that for less than 500 bucks. So he comes in, a young guy, he's probably 23 years old. And he told me his name. And I was like, oh man, I should have charged more. So uh, I said, what happened? How, what's the story here of why this is happening? He said, my family owns thousands of acres of land in the center of the state. We have a beautiful cabin and different family members will go out to this cabin, you know, on different days of the week or whatever. So he said, me and my girlfriend were out there and we have a massive issue with people like trespassing on the property, poaching, starting bonfires, just doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. So he said, we're out at the cabin, we're hanging out and we heard somebody on the property. So he said, I took my shotgun, I took my flashlight, and I'm walking through the field and I can see somebody off in the distance uh, having a bonfire kind of party in a field. So he approaches and he's shining the flashlight at him and he says, this is private property, you are trespassing. According to him, never pointed the shotgun at these people. And he simply said, get the F off of my property. Well, these teenagers left. They were like 17, 18 years old. They left. They called their parents. The parents called 911. And this man was arrested for brandishing a firearm. Even though allegedly the shotgun was never actually pointed at them and the gun was, and he never actually threatened that. So he said, my grandfather, so again, this is a person who is a billionaire, ba 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 billionaire. My grandfather spent $100,000 trying to make this case go away. Couldn't get it to go away. They said I had to become a felon. But the only, but if I, if I complete, successfully completed a firearm safety course, uh, they, would, they would expunge the felony so he could own guns again and restore his rights and all that stuff. If this person, with the political pull that this guy has, with the amount of money that this guy has, if he's not able to squash a situation like that, we can't either. Does that make sense? So if somebody is trespassing, just, just call the police, ask them to leave, but don't go out there with a gun or threaten anybody with a gun because it's going to be terrible.